How to use Google Trends for SEO. Google Trends is one of the most valuable sources of open data on the internet. Google Trends does not provide search volume. They give you an arbitrary scale of 0 to 100. The values are entirely dynamic and change once you introduce multiple search terms. There are five different data sources for you to utilize. Web search, Google image search, Google news, Google shopping, and YouTube. When searching for keywords, you can use different keyword types, such as Bernie Sanders parentheses search term, Bernie Sanders parentheses United States Senator, or Bernie Sanders parentheses election campaign. I tread carefully when grouping keywords, some of the related keywords that popped up when browsing the plumbing category included Lil Pump, Minecraft, and League of Legends. When finding general trends, a slight hidden feature of Google search trends is the ability to view an industry's general trends by removing all of your current search terms. The use of search operators, different spellings and abbreviations, could get you more out of your data. Using the plus operator, you can account for different spellings, abbreviations, and punctuations of different terms. Or if the search term is associated with another meaning, you can use the minus operator. When embedding a Google Trends graph to a website, the easiest way is to click the little embed button after performing a search. It'll give you a basic code snippet to add to your website's HTML source. With it, you can use any sort of charting software you like to visualize your data and display it on your website. You can also use the Google Trends sidebar where you can get access to additional features which people often ignore. You can view trending searches, year-end searches, or subscriptions. When finding hot niches in blog topics, you're going to need the help of additional tools such as Trend Hunter or RedditMetrics.com. With finding seasonal trends, some products sell better at different times of the year. However, they're based on yearly averages. To estimate searches of a particular keyword, you can download the data to get the CSV. Then you need to organize into months. Now we need to find the average monthly search volume using a keyword research tool. Next. Multiply that number by 12. All that's left to do is to find the monthly searches using your percentages. When looking at location-based keyword trends, you want your marketing to be as effective as possible. Some areas in the country, or some areas in the world, are more interested in products, services, and industries than others. And while looking at keyword trends for local SEO, you can see what cities your service is most popular with a bit of location filtering. Using Google Trends for olden times, Google Trends goes back to 2004, and that's great. However, if we want more insight, Google created a tool named Google Ngram Viewer that uses books and other literature for past research. Final notes? The last tip I wanted to mention is that Google offers some great beginner-level training on Google Trends.